Tonight, only on six, we've learned bear proof trash cans could soon become mandatory for thousands of people. It's a proposal that has sparked a huge debate in Seminole County. Florida Fish and Wildlife says the cans can reduce bear encounters by 95%. So I wanted to get answers and find out if people were leaving their trash unsecured. And tonight, for the first time, a majority of county commissioners tell only New Six they now support requiring bear proof trash cans. Owners in the epicenter of bear activity know all too well what can happen when their trash is left unsecured. You put the trash out and you wake up in the morning and then your trash is strung out all over the street and in the yard and drug out, you know, drug down the road. But we wanted to know how often does that really happen? There have been at least three reported bear attacks in Seminole County since 2012, including here in the gated Wingfield North subdivision. A woman walking her dog was mauled. So News 6 went to that area the night before trash pickup. Most did not have their garbage out. If they did, the majority were in bear proof trash cans. But we still found a handful of homes with a potential bear buffet in full view. This is a serious problem, and everybody recognizes it. Seminole County Commissioner Lee Constantine is leading the fight for mandatory trash cans for about 24,000 homes and businesses west of I 4. He says the county has plenty of money in the Solid Waste Trust Fund to cover the cost. But but he'd also support charging people in that area a fee, possibly as low as a dollar a month. We know the solution. And so to do nothing or to uh, wait and see if we have another, God forbid, mauling or something, I mean, it's just, in my opinion, unacceptable. But up until now, requiring bear resistant trash cans has met resistance among county commissioners. Commissioner Constantine says it just takes one unsecured trash can to attract a bear, and even waiting until the morning to put it out doesn't always work. These are photos from a homeowner in Apopka who put her trash out at 6 a.m. If people put it out at 6 o'clock, what's also on the streets at around 6 o'clock until they pick up the garbage at 8 o'clock? children waiting for buses. We're playing roulette here. So this week, I reached out to every member on the Seminole County Commission, and Chairwoman Brenda Carey told me her position on mandating trash cans has now evolved, and she now supports the idea. We need to look at it responsibly and try to come up with a program that works for everyone. Commissioner Bob DeLari also supports the idea, but both say there are still a lot of unanswered questions, including how to accommodate people who physically can't operate the cans. And who would pay for them? Even so, with three of the five members now on board, a simple majority is all it takes to make the cans mandatory. Now, as far as a time frame for that, we don't know yet how long it would take for the cans to become a reality for everyone in that area. Right now, the county is drafting an ordinance to fine people for leaving their trash unsecured. That should be up for a vote in December. It will likely be similar to what FWC already has in place. And Commissioner Constantine says that raises a whole host of other questions like who will enforce it and what will that cost. By the way, I checked with FWC. They've only cited one person in Seminole County this year for leaving their garbage out. And attracting bears. And you found more than that while you oh, were yeah. out there. Yeah.